Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to yet another Cooking with Bone Clinks. Today we're going to cook a lovely meal from the official Disney Parks cookbook. And we're going to be making the Batu and Ronto wraps. This is a really involved recipe, which I think is going to take me only four hours. It's probably the most cooking work that I've ever done. But I got all the ingredients and I think it'll be fun, so we're going to do it. So without further ado, let's do it. Okay, so here's the page with the recipe in the book. Um, as you can see, it is two pages long. Uh, it involves the roasted pork shoulder, making the slaw for the Ronto wrap, the peppercorn sauce for the slaw and for the actual Ronto wrap, then the pita, which is pretty simple, and then the grilled sausage will be pretty simple. This seems like a gimme. This is gonna be the one that takes a long time, including the pork shoulder taking about three hours. But that's kind of, um, not really time that I'm doing anything, it's just time that I'm waiting. So this is actually the first time I'm gonna be cooking, um, you know, pork butt. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, for our first step, we're gonna preheat this oven to 300 degrees. Here's my uh, pork butt. Apparently I did some research and pork shoulder blade, this is the, this is the same thing as pork butt. Okay, so uh, it says to pat it dry, so. I guess I just do this. That seems reasonable, I guess. It's kind of uh, squeezing the meat and kind of slapping it a little bit with this paper towel. So next it said to put canola oil on it. Um, I don't have canola oil and I did some research and I think canola is just like a vegetable. So I have vegetable oil. So we're just gonna put some of that on here. That looks good. Pepper here and salt. Okay, it doesn't say so in the book, but I'm assuming you want to flip it over and do so on the other side, you know? That seems reasonable to me. All right, um, well, I think this looks pretty well seasoned. I'm pretty happy with this. So, um, yeah, the idea is to put it in the oven now for three hours. So let's do that. Okay, so our next step is to make the Ronto wrap slaw. For this, you're gonna be required to have apple cider vinegar, Sam Ball, which is that like chili spicy sauce that they have at like Chinese restaurants and stuff. Unfortunately, I couldn't get that, but I feel like the closest kind of thing you could get easily is sriracha, so mine's not gonna be exactly right, but you know, whatever, it's fine, don't worry about it. Okay, next thing you need is some sugar, which I'm probably gonna do a little bit less sugar because I have the sriracha, which is already sweet. Um, we need canola oil, which is this oil over here, parsley, which is over there, salt, pepper, carrots, matchstick carrots, which is just shredded carrots, and also cabbage. So for the cabbage, I can only get, you know, coleslaw mix, which essentially is gonna be the same sort of thing. It's got like some carrots and a little bit of onion and stuff like that, but essentially the same sort of thing. So. Pretty much, uh, it's all here. So the first step is gonna be to add one third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I don't have a one third measuring thing, so I think that's about one third of a cup. Let's do that, bada bing, bada boom. Two and a half tablespoons of sambal, which in my case is sriracha. Two tablespoons canola oil. One tablespoon sugar. One tablespoon dried parsley. Salt pepper, it then asks you to combine all this. One cup matchstick carrots, three cups shredded cabbage, one, two, three. Three cups shredded cabbage. All right, so now we're going to uh, mix the slaw mixture together, just like so. Very important to make sure that you're trying it as you go along. So let's get a little try of the slaw and see what it is. It's good, except a little bit forward on the apple cider vinegar. So I think I will add in that sugar that I said I wouldn't do. Let's do that. So we're just gonna add back in uh, the one more extra tablespoon of sugar and that should cut out the uh, vinegar taste a little bit. Let's try it out again. Delicious, perfect. All right, so we are done with the delicious tasting and looking 
Ronto wrap slaw. So let's put this in the fridge and keep it cool while we're waiting for the rest of it. In the fridge. Now that we finished up our slaw, it's time to make our peppercorn sauce. Okay, so for your peppercorn sauce, you're gonna need mayonnaise, lime juice, apple cider vinegar, boots with the fur, some sumac. So this thing confused me. Um, there's no sumac around me, but I did find this za'atar, um, which is a seasoning blend with marjo jam, thyme, and sumac. So it's got it in there, so I think this should be fine. Salt, coriander, and Szechuan peppercorns again. I couldn't find Szechuan peppercorns around me, but I did find this Chinese Szechuan stir fry sauce. So I think we're gonna use a little bit of this and uh, yeah, it should be fine. One cup mayonnaise. One tablespoon lime juice. One tablespoon apple cider vinegar. One teaspoon ground sumac. Salt, one fourth teaspoon ground coriander, <clears throat> one fourth teaspoon ground coriander. I'm just gonna add a dash of this Szechuan stir fry sauce, just a dash, just like just like so. That's gonna emulate the taste, I think, just like that. All right, the next step is gonna be to mix all these ingredients together. I kind of like that. Not bad. Next step is to refrigerate until ready. All right, so it's been about uh, three hours almost. So we're gonna check on our uh, pork butt and uh, then we're gonna get going with our sausages and our uh, pita breads and get this Ronto wrap going. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all day and that's the way it's gonna be, man. Let's go. Okay, so we're gonna check this oven out and see what we got here. We're looking for about one, bleh, looking for about 160 uh, temperature for the uh, pork butt. So let's get out our thermometer here. Yep, yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're overcooked. Yeah, that's definitely overcooked. Okay, let's take it out. Okay, and uh, there she blows. Uh, we're just gonna let that chill for just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to uh, put a pan on the uh, stove top, put the heat on, I'm looking about a medium high heat, I would say. Um, then we're going to put a little bit of oil in the pan, just like so, and uh, wait till it heats up. So while it's heating up, um, you need to get another pan going, or I assume you could do this directly afterwards if you want, but to save time, I'm gonna get another pan going at the same time. We're gonna put that heat up to about a medium high as well. And uh, for this one, you essentially want to spray some oil on here or like very thinly put a layer of oil on here. Um, what we're gonna be doing is essentially just uh, heating up some pita bread. So you're not really trying to like cook anything. So you might wanna go at like a medium heat and then essentially just put, uh, yeah, a couple pieces of pita bread on there, depending on how many uh, sandwiches you're gonna make. For me, I'm only gonna do two right now, so I'm just gonna put two of these pita breads here and just allow them to kind of get uh, warmed up, essentially. Okay, so again, I'm only gonna do two Bantu wraps today, so we're just gonna throw two sausages on. Okay, um, I'm pretty happy with these. Looks like they got a good color on them, and I think they're done. So we're gonna take them off, put them on a plate and then start uh, constructing our uh, meal. So uh, here is our pork shoulder, which has been resting for about 15 minutes. So we're going to slice into this and we're trying to make little, uh, little slices for the Ronto wrap. So I'm just gonna take a nice little cut right here and everything should look nice and cooked. It looks perfect to me, just like so. So essentially, we're trying to just get a little bit of semi-thick slices in here to go in our pita sandwich. So let's just uh, do that. Wow, just look at that, guys. Wow, this is really, this is really what life's all about. You know what I'm saying? This is really, this is the good stuff right here. 
All right, so now we are finally at the point of constructing our Ronto wrap. So take your pita bread, get a couple slices of your lovely, lovely pork, about two slices. Next, take your sausage, just like so. Get some of that delicious slaw, just like that. Just slather on that slaw. Yeah, you like that slaw, don't you? Get it on here, just like so. Nice little bit of slaw. And then finally, get some of your delicious peppercorn sauce and slather it on. Don't be conservative about this, just slather it on. You like it saucy, don't ya? And there you go. That is your Ronto wrap, Batuan Ronto wrap from Disney right here. Let's try it out and see what it's all about. Okay, here it is. Here is the Batuan Ronto wrap that I made all myself. It took about four hours to get this all done and I'm very excited. It smells delicious. Look at that. Wow, thumbnail. It looks just great. Okay, let's take a little bite out of crime and see what it's all about. Mmm. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. That is, uh. Mmm. That is, uh. That is really good. That is, uh, wow. That is insanely good. I, that sauce came out so good. And the slaw is nice and crunchy. Really great texture when next to all the soft, warm pita bread and the nice, tender pork and the, the crunchy sausage. Mmm. 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 Ah. Now that is a delicious snack. So the recipe that I use is meant for about eight people. <laughs> so I have enough, I, I think that the pork butt should last for another four, four sandwiches, four or five sandwiches. Along with the sausages, obviously you just need to cook up some additional ones. The pita breads, depending on how many you have, but that coleslaw will go pretty far. I made quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I think if you wanted to do this for a party, it's not too difficult really to cook it all up. It might take some additional prep time, get started a little bit a few hours beforehand, but this might be really cool for a party if you're trying to impress your Disney friends, Star Wars or the friends, whatever it is. Make some nice little Ronto wraps. I think they'll really like it. Hmm. So anyways, thanks so much for joining me on this culinary expedition. This was the Ronto wrap from Batu. I hope you liked it. I sure did. I would say this dish, five out of five, all freaking day. Definitely something to cook, definitely something to try, and tastes pretty dang good. Not too hard. Try it out. Not bad.